Ryan Lagu is with us today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Now, welcome to the show. You've got a new album called Beat Shop. So what's the basic idea behind that album, first of all? Um, the basic idea is it's just a whole lot of songs that I just wrote during this pandemic. Mm. And I just threw them all in there, threw them all in one whole album. So, yeah. yeah. But I've been working on this album for a while. But it's if the pandemic didn't happen, I probably wouldn't have even had it yet because I've been so busy that I didn't work on the album, but when the pandemic started with lockdown, I just did the album already. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. How is it in Hawaii? Because I suppose it's an island. Maybe you've been able to keep cases away, or you haven't been here before? No. Oh, to answer your question, it's beautiful here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But how are the COVID cases? That's what I really want to know. It was really bad, actually. We yeah. shut down. I think two we shut down two times here. But now it's it's pretty it's going back to normal pretty much. What about over there? It's still pretty bad. I think yeah. over half of the country have been vaccinated now, which is good. Wow. So we're maybe on the way out, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I hope you stay safe though. Yeah. Hopefully we get back to normal too. Yeah. So how long did it take you to write this whole album then? Um it took me about two years, but like I wow. said, the, during the pandemic is where I kind yeah. of threw it in there, yeah. So yeah, it took me a while though. Yeah, absolutely. And you had an album party which one and a half people attended. Was that quite yeah. exciting? Oh, it was very exciting because I thought I would be happy if just one person attended, but yeah. he had thousand. I was I was shocked. I was to tell you the truth, I was shocked a bit. But then I guess um the support that I have, I guess, and the mailing my mailing lists have and they've been supporting me since since 2007 and i'm back so yeah. you know that was really exciting to have that much people to attend the, mm. the album party so yeah absolutely it's exciting and you had your first single debuted on itunes at number three in the top 100 charts that must have been even more exciting possibly oh yeah i was so excited uh, that one i was really excited i i was calling my family up you know i was trying to contact everybody my friends were there so yeah that was yeah. that was super exciting it was very very exciting and that feeling i'll never forget but mm. hopefully this album i want it to do that to good to do good too so you know and i want to go to the billboard charts that's what i'm going oh, yeah. for so that's the <laughs> so how did you first start to get interested in making music in the first place oh making music was probably about 2007 i've always been interested in music um since I was young, but yeah. making music, like writing music, um, I was in this competition called Famecast. Nah. Um, it was in 2007, and where we had to write our own original music. So that's where I started writing my music, actually, and I started just writing from there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And was there anyone in your family growing up that either was musical or just kind of inspired you to do it? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, my, my auntie was my auntie mm -hmm. Jackie. She's a, she was a singer in the family. She's beautiful voice. Mm. My dad, my dad's side of the family also sings. So like you know, they all love music too. Yeah. My dad especially. Um, he would have the radio playing loud every like weekends when he was off, and he'd play music like from Elvis. I love all the oldie stuff. I'm an oldie guy. So yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And do you have any other musical influences that have inspired you? Like you look up to anyone? Um. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, the late Michael Jackson, um, Elvis Presley. Mm. But lately, um, the weekend. I like the weekend a lot, actually. Oh, yeah. interesting. You choose Elvis. Is he yeah. maybe quite big in Hawaii because he did a whole album and is played there and everything? I don't know what it is, but I always had a thing with Elvis too. I I really like his music, like everything about him actually and michael jackson so i've been to the michael jackson concert oh. and that just kind of blew me away here when he came down to hawaii so yeah yeah that's incredible and do you have any big moments since you've been making music that stand out to you any big things that you remember i mean I suppose we've mentioned a couple of exciting things already but are there any other things the biggest actor was theme cast that was really probably the big thing for me and then this recently just charting on iTunes really took me by surprise and you know I'm just really thankful 
for people that are supporting me still because you don't have to like my music but yeah. you know i don't know people support me so thank you so much i really appreciate it yeah absolutely and, you know i didn't start in the u.s yet oh I but I started in it was in UK somewhere in Belgium so yeah. I'm shocked. So thank you. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. And do you consider yourself to be part of a particular genre as well? Um, no, I kind of like all kinds of music. Mm. I like pop, reggae. So you know, I like I like all kinds of music. I really don't want to be in a genre, but whatever the mood I feel in, I write, I, I write. So yeah. yeah, but this album doesn't have any slow songs on it. So oh. it's all a beat song. So yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I like that. And do you get up to anything else outside of music that takes up your time? No, oh, just music right now. <laughs> oh, um, shoes. I got my shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got my own line. Yeah. Oh. I do. I do. I do my own shoe. Um, it's called Lagu Shoes. It's my my, ba- my name backwards. To, well, everybody mm-hmm. wants to know how I pronounce Ryan Lagu. Mm-hmm. It's I pronounce it Lagu. It's um my last name backwards, ah. but with a silent P. With a silent P though, Lagu. Ah. <laughs> That's clever. I never realized yeah. that. But yeah. Yes. Yeah, I do my shoes too. That was another um another thing that's going on for me right now so mm. yeah that's an interesting thing i've never really thought too much about the design of shoes but i guess someone has to do it and i guess it's kind of a unique talent you have to have oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> and do you have any more songs or albums coming out in the not too distant future that we can look forward to yeah well okay well there was a little issue about the beat shop album mm. So I'm going under another label now, but it'll be re-released, re-released on March 23rd. Mm-hmm. Um, the next single is going to be Money in Your Pocket um, and Done. So Money in Your Pocket is first though. And that song I'm really pushing for to, you know, go kind of wherever it goes. I want to mm-hmm. see, but that's a song I really want to push to be out there. So Money in Your Pocket, if y'all hear it. <laughs> and in the meantime, where are we able to hear the songs that you have released from this album? Oh, I'm available on all on music platforms online. Yeah. Um, I'm on SoundCloud, and then I'll, you can also visit my website, um, www.ryanlegu.site. That's R-Y-A-N-L-A-G-U-P.site. Nice. Yeah. And do you have any other social media pages that we can see? Oh, yeah, I got Facebook. Mm. Um, Facebook, Ryan Legu. Um, I have everything, actually, but I don't have an Instagram. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what Instagram is for, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a Posting pictures of yourself showing off, probably. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> <Your accent. laughs> your accent. It's cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show today. And thank you for being so patient with me. I know this is the sixth time we tried it and <laughs> finally. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much.